The Mark Simone Show. Mr. New York. 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, of course, the uh, best selling author, all of her great books. You can get them at AnnCoulter.com or Amazon and uh, the great columnist. And follow her on Twitter. It's Ann Coulter Twitter. But check out her website. Just go to AnnCoulter.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Great to talk to you, Mark Simone. And are you doing the podcast yet? No, not yet. Oh. I'm traveling a lot, as you know, from me not being on your show for almost two weeks now. Um, but I'll be settled down in a few weeks. I'm speaking at University of Houston, which really um, kicked butt last night in the NCAA, and uh, University of Indiana on Friday. Oh, well, that's good. That's excellent. So, hey, you've written the uh, best books on uh uh, woke, crazy Democrats and letting crime get out of control. Did you see that Los Angeles police are now warning people, don't wear expensive jewelry, don't carry expensive handbag. What is, is this their solution, telling you what not to wear? <laughs> yes, it's like New York under Dinkins when um, our, our city motto was no radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I mean, since de Blasio um, started releasing the criminals, uh, in New York, I've 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 had to you know tell the younger the younger set, okay, we're going back to Dinkins era behavior. Um, you're wearing all costume jewelry and never taking the subway, which is you know great since it's not like we pay a lot in taxes, so it's terrific not to have any of these city services available to us. Um. <laughs> So, uh, and then our no, it's pretty bad. And by the way, the two DAs in um, Cal the two Soros DAs, you will notice every one of these cities, they have Soros DAs. We do in New York, in L.A., in San Francisco, um, Chicago, Philadelphia. These are all George Soros DAs. And their, their plan is, like... Like our new Supreme Court <laughs> justice is to always take the criminal side. Um, yeah, okay, well, that's going to lead to a massive upsurge in crime. And we do have midterms coming up, and there are recall elections, so people better be paying attention. Yeah, now, uh, midterms is expected to be a Republican landslide. What can the Republicans do to completely screw this up? Because they are capable of that. I was just thinking of writing my column next week on how Republicans are going to blow it because I get this fear um, I get before many elections. Uh, the Republican Party has, has a problem of chronic overconfidence. Um, for one thing, I mean, I have many stake bets. Um, I don't think I want to specify this, so I won't be able to write the column. Um, I have many stake bets on... Nope, can't name them. Um, certain of our Republicans not winning, and I'm just about ready to say we're not taking the Senate. Um, no, of course we will. But uh, no, hey. I mean what, what what you're thinking, and what I think most Republicans are thinking, which is which is correct. Oh my gosh, Democrats have made a mess of things from the vaccine mandates. Oh, put a pin in that man. Has Adams, um, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, stepped in it? Um, um, from the vaccine mandates, firing people, the endless shutdowns, the utter the mask mandates on utter hypocrisy as all these Democrats are going out partying, going to bars, having dinners, um, going boating while the rest of us, no, no, you must be locked down. Um, you have crime through the roof. That is absolutely the most important issue that affects everyone. Um, if it's not because you've been mugged or pushed in front of a subway, it's because you have to change your behavior and, and need to be afraid, um, particularly, of course, the most vulnerable women, children, older people. Um, and we have the, the just preposterous crisis at the border, like nothing no Democrat would have ever attempted before. Um, so, yeah, people are really ticked off and dying to vote against the Dem Democrats. But you have to give them, you know, the, the Republican Party has to do its part and, and give them a decent candidate. Um, not have a lot of vicious, bitter primary fights. I hope, I suspect, we'll, we'll do reasonably well in the House. Um, but but if you look at the Senate races, race by race, oh, my gosh, no, Republicans have come up with a lot of ways to screw things up. Well, hopefully they'll win. But uh, the, the politicians don't understand, like, the gas price. That's like a 200 and 
a yeah. forty dollar a month tax on people, uh, inflation, gas. They don't realize the damage it does to them. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. That gas prices are an enormous issue. Um, so. Like I say, the public is, I think, um, even lifelong Democrats are, are, are ready and dying to send a message. Um, but Republican Party, you've got to meet us halfway. <laughs> you have to give us legit candidates to run against and not ridiculous um, primary fights, relitigating the 2020 election and so on and so forth. Um, and I, um, your pal Trump is not is not helping. Already oh, he's two Senate races for us in Georgia. He cost us a seat in Alabama. I think he's going to cost us another seat in Georgia now. So stop um, picking on him. <laughs> picking on him is destroying the country. Picking on him. I've never heard such a thing. <laughs> so <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Explain this to me. You get this Kathy Hochul. She's the governor of New York. All her life, she's a reasonable, middle-of-the-road, common sense. To, she's so frightened of these woke liberals. She's pretending to be a woke liberal with this no-bail. How come these people get uh, so terrified of these woke idiots? Well, I mean, long term, it may be too late to save the country, but long term, I think the Democrats are in a much tougher position than the Republican Party. Um, we have just kind of odd, <laughs> odd little spe issues specific to this or that race, whereas you look at the Democratic Party, um, and I mean, why do they have a 90-year-old <laughs> as president right now, um, because this is the last generation of, of white men that the Democrat Party is going to be allowed to elect anything. I mean, I'm, I'm not making any bets on it yet, but I still think it's possible the Democrats do the weekend at Bernie's thing with uh, Biden come 2020. Because once you get below the 90-year-old Democrats, the Die Fies, um, Steny Hoyer, um, and Joe Biden himself, you you drop immediately into Ilhan Omar, AOC, you know, defund the police. The, you get you go straight to the absolute craziest Democrats, and they're starting they're starting to notice this from Roy Teixeira in Texas, amazingly, um, to 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 you know James Carville. Um, there will be uh, the Democrats could win if they ran somebody like. Sherrod Brown of Ohio or Steve Bullock of Oregon or that guy yeah. from Baltimore. And there's no possible way their voters will allow it to be a white male. No way. So, but uh, whenever it goes woke, crazy, left, that doesn't that a, isn't that a cycle that eventually turns around and things go back to the center a little? I don't think so. I think uh, that's one of the things that annoys me about Republicans. Um, <laughs> that it's like a ratchet with the Republicans. The Democrats come into power, pass all kinds of crazy stuff, and then Republicans get into power, and what they do is, okay, no more crazy stuff, but do you roll anything back? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 they get Democrats get to pocket their gains, and all we do is, like, slow the advance of cultural Marxism. Well, that's a good point. Uh, hey, um, uh, Which is why um, I, I was noticing this week, I don't know if you saw the hearings, um, Senators Cotton, Hawley, and Cruz were really magnificent, really, really, really good. And it reminded me once again, I wish our really smart – it's just such an amazing thing to see a Republican with a high IQ who's articulate, and those three <laughs> Republicans with high IQs who are articulate, it was so magnificent to watch. It reminds me, could you, could you Republicans with high IQs who are articulate – not run for Senate and then immediately run for president. We could really <laughs> use our own LBJ in the Senate. Stay in the Senate. That's a powerful position, and we need these guys there. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's a good point. I hate to say we're out of time, but you can uh, read Ann Coulter's uh, latest column. Just go to uh, Twitter, Ann Coulter Twitter, or just go to her website, annculter.com. Get all of her books. They're excellent, and they really shed a lot of light on, on what's going on right now. Uh, everything is at annculter.com. Podcast coming soon. Uh, Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you. Talk to you next Wednesday. All right. Take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. 
Joe Biden, the whole campaign was a lie. One of his biggest lies was he's the great statesman of the world. He knows the world leaders better than anybody. They know him. They respect him. Not true. They can't stand the guy. Watch this. It's yesterday at the NATO summit. Watch when Biden comes into the room with all the world leaders. Watch all of them totally ignore him.